Hey guys, Dave Anderson here. Hey, welcome back to our fourth video in a series of four on waste oil burners. Today, we're going to be tackling the fourth part, which is the um, oven, or if you don't want to make an oven, the heat dispersal system for heat. <laughs> it does both, okay, not a problem. So. You guys stay tuned. We're gonna start cutting into this barrel. If you don't want to make a cooking surface out of this, well, you don't really have to. Um, so really all you're gonna do is mount the housing onto the bottom of this and then um, have a chimney stack going off the top. But if you wanna have a dual purpose like I do, I want to have this to be an oven or griddle or something that I can cook with along with providing heat. Now I'm thinking about a 24 inch cooking surface, which is gonna give me about, oh, five inches or so on each side. But that... So like me, if I want a 24 by 24 inch uh, steel plate that I'm gonna put in for a griddle, um, well, I know that it's not actually going to fit because this is only uh, 22 and three quarter inches across. So that's about the maximum size of griddle as far as the depth of the griddle that you can go. All right, this is the quickest and easiest way I know how to get a straight line across. What I've done is, is uh, right at that mark, put this string. I'm gonna take the string up over the top of this. Get it taut and then lay it right on that part there, making sure that the string is, is uh, is straight all the way across and then tape it down and then uh, I'm gonna just trace over that with a pen and that'll give me a nice straight line. All right, I need to catch you up. This is the back side where the hinge will go. And what I did is I just uh, increased the uh, thickness in here so that it's level with this rib so I can get the hinge to go all the way across. Now you might be wondering why is it kind of offset like that? Well, it's time to put on my redneck ways and explain this. How you doing there, I'm Jethro? And I do not have a piano hinge like I thought I did. So what I'm doing is I'm just using some type rail. And I cut it and welded it right here. So now I have a thin, thinner spot here and a thinner spot here. So I can just put this on there like that. And I got myself a hinge. So I'm gonna weld this on there, just like that. And that's gonna work beautiful for a hinge. Right on.
to see how well this thing works. Now this, this lid is gonna be really, really flimsy. There we go. Beautiful. And the hinge worked out perfect. Good job, Jethro. But it doesn't matter if you've got a flimsy barrel or a strong barrel, you're gonna need to reinforce it because it's gonna be all wobbly. All right, I've begun stiffening up the hood and I'll probably take uh, another two pieces of rebar um, on, on the sides just to stiffen up that hood. Thing that worked out pretty cool. Shined a bright light. I just traced the shadow that it made. Well, that technique would have worked out pretty good, except that I didn't have that much room <laughs> at the very peak of this barrel where I had to start welding. So I couldn't actually get it as deep as I wanted to on the side. So uh, I'm having to kind of make do. And this is uh, death by 10,000 welds because this barrel is so light it just burns through in a heartbeat so it's slow going and a lot of welding but uh, i'm getting there well obviously this is the next day <laughs> it's a little icy but i need to finish welding this up all right well i fully admit that it's horrendous looking because it's thousand welds <laughs> But uh, I ended up adding a little piece 
a filler piece in there and one on the other side just to get it uh, so I didn't have to weld the entire thing up, but it looks horrid. And so I need to do a second weld um, to kind of clean up these welds, maybe grind it a little bit as well. Now I just happen to have some of this scrap piece of metal and that is what I'm basically going to uh, um, put the legs on. So you'll have to get that as well, buy something square stock to uh, build legs. So the question is, can it freestand? And the answer is yes. Only thing is, is when this gets super heated in here, the weight of the barrel, I think, is going to push down and then it's gonna become more difficult to open. You can see it's already just touching on the barrel right there because of the heat of the weld kind of warped that barrel down a little bit. So I'm gonna have to go inside and fix that. All right, if you're following along, I need to catch you up. Don't freak out. Now these, these are just legs. Uh, you know, anybody could, anybody could just put legs on it. This is just what I did. You can do your own thing. It doesn't make any difference to me. Um, it is off the ground. The burner housing is off the ground. And what I've done is uh, I welded this one piece on here, the black pipe, and this is where the uh, um, drip system is going to go. So you see where that hole is in the housing? All right, so that is where the drip system is going to go to. Well, hey guys, as you can see, it's kind of gotten dark on me. These winter days are just kind of a bummer. It, it, it's becoming clear to me that I'm gonna have to make a fifth video because the construction of this has just been uh, quite daunting. I still have to have a smoke stack come out the back. And as far as it being a cooking surface, I still have to go and find a 24 by 24 inch, probably quarter inch thick steel so I can use that as the griddle. And then I'm also going to have to um, cover up from here to here on the inside so that all the smoke stays out of my food and goes out the, uh, the exhaust pipe. There's another thing that I also found out and I'm just not satisfied with the drip system. It's not operating correctly and I need to do some tweaking and I'm just not comfortable with ending this with just four videos. I'm gonna have to make another video uh, just to work out some of the bugs. I've done a little testing already. It has been very remarkable, very remarkable results. Until next time, guys, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there, and God bless. Hey, guys, if you like the video, please click on that like button. Only about 25% of you will, but I hope that it is you. If you also want to subscribe, if you haven't been a subscriber yet, please go ahead and click on my face. You're welcome to, it is totally free. We are almost at a thousand subscribers. Yay, it's taken us a long, long time, but uh, we are finally getting there. Um, and I can't thank you enough.